Journal entry number 11. Just got home from dance class. It's going pretty well. Makes me feel better. A little bit. Uh, getting pretty sick of doing these webcam entries, but Dr. McKenzie said that it might help, so I'll try anything. I still think about my family every day. I met some cool people here, but they're nothing like my family. My mom, I could always tell her anything and Dad always gave me the best advice about guys and everything, really. Sarah, are you okay? Yeah, Dad, I'm fine. I'm just tired. Come on, sweetheart. I know you. I'm your father. Come on over here. Spill it. It's just this guy, Kirk, at school. I thought he really liked me, and it turns out I was just being stupid because he only wanted to talk to me to get close to my friend. Honey, you're a lot of things, but you're not stupid. Come on, you're bright, you're funny, smart. And if Kirk the jerk can't see that, then that's his problem. Oh, God, Casey, I miss you so much. There's just nothing like having a sister.
Sarah? Who's this? Sarah, it's Mandy. What time is it? Is everything okay? It's Haley. Turn on the news. What's going on? What time is it? Just turn on the freaking news, Sarah! Tragedy strikes Manchester this morning as the bodies of 26-year-old Lucas Depp and his 23-year-old girlfriend Haley Graham were found murdered at this east side apartment complex by their security guard, Travis Tate. Police aren't releasing any details as the cause of death just yet, but Sheriff Deerhorn was quoted saying, it looked like a scene from a horror movie. Authorities have recovered a photo of what appears to be a masked assailant attacking young Haley Graham via her cell phone, which was found clutched in her lifeless hand. The costume was said to be the same costume worn by the killer in the stab films, which were based on actual events chronicled in a series of books by Gail Weathers. The police are hoping that this is an isolated event. They are launching a full-out search for the killer shortly. Hello? Sarah? Hello? As of yet, Manchester police have no suspects in custody. Hey! I'm sorry. It's fucked up, right? Yeah, I think I know that news reporter from home. Haley is dead and all you can think about is your home state of Texas? Let it go. Don't forget, we're all still meeting at Shannon's for one. Yeah. You better be there. I will. If you have any information that could aid the police in this investigation, we encourage you to call the Manchester Crime Line at 603-555-0476. This is Heather Gale reporting live in Manchester, New Hampshire. Journal entry number 12. It's been three weeks since I've been in New Hampshire. I thought everything was going really well, but I just found out two of my friends got murdered. So it's like the same shit all over again. I can't believe it. I don't know what to do, and I don't know how much longer I can keep it together. I'm going to go get ready for Shannon's. We'll see. Shan, I know this is bad, but are we just gonna sit here and cry about this all day? Seriously? Asshole much? God, I don't know what I see in you. Wasn't this supposed to be a party planning meeting? You too, Roy? Our friend is dead and you want to plan a party. She was your friend too, you know. It's not like we're not sorry that she's dead, but my man is right. We're supposed to be planning a bonfire party. How can you still be thinking about a party right now? It's not that hard. Roy, don't be an ass. Listen, Haley was a stuck-up bitch and I ain't afraid to say it. She treats you all like shit. Whoa, dude, chill with that shit. People are gonna think that you killed her. You're the one who dated her before you hooked up with Shannon. So? So you know she's a bitch, too. You could just as easily be the killer as I could. Maybe I am. And maybe you're next. How long do black guys live in horror movies anyway? <laughs> Motherfucker! <laughs> I'm lucky I made it this far. <laughs> guys, seriously, stop. This isn't a fucking horror movie. This is real life. Haley and her man were killed by someone wearing a stab costume. Come on, it's totally about the movies. Right? I'm just saying, like in the first ad movie, someone has a grudge, and then slice, the town's teen population is cut in half. Literally. CJ, I'll get it. Do me a favor. Shut the fuck up. Missed you. Mm. Missed you too. Kiss me again. Mm. Everyone, this is my sister April, and this is her boyfriend Travis. Travis? Is it Travis Tate? Yeah. The security guard from the building that Haley and her man were killed in last night? Yeah, I guess. Uh, how did you guys know? What? Because I'm black, you don't think that I watch the news? I know my shit. They had your picture on there. I didn't mean to imply that, but, uh, yeah, I'm the security guard over there. What? Where were you when Haley was getting knifed to death? In my, uh, in my office. Babe, you don't have to answer them. I think we deserve an answer. How did you not see Haley being murdered? Don't you do the patrols? They said they found her in a trash room. The cameras only cover the main entrance in the hallways. There's no way I could have seen that. Oh my god, that's horrible. You all knew this girl? She 
She was our star dancer, and she always got all the leads. Jay, our dance teacher, loved her. She was his trophy winner. Shan, I'm so sorry. I didn't know. You would have if you ever talked to me. Babe, I think you should leave. You seem kind of hostile. Yeah, I think I'm going to get going anyways. Keep the doors locked tonight. I'll give you a call. I get out at 10. Okay. Sounds good? Yeah, I love you. Love you too. You know what, guys? You must feel bad enough already. You don't have to go fuck with him. Grow up. You're not teenagers anymore. Says the 27-year-old who still lives at home. <laughs> Ditto, 22-year-old. College dropout. Oh, <laughs> there, Hello? sweetie. How old are you? You must know who I am. No. Maybe if you think real hard. No. Well, my name's Heather Gale. I'm the head reporter over at News 9. So what are you doing in my house? I just wanted to come over and talk to you about your little friend. Uh, what was her name? Hailey? Bunny, I'm not talking to any reporter. Oh! Well, howdy, y'all! No shit, it's the lady from the news. <laughs> it is so nice to be recognized. Oh, I just wanted to talk to y'all about your little friend Hailey. I'm so sorry for your loss. Did y'all know her well? Bunny, Roy and I were just talking about her. CJ, shut it! Oh, now! Well, now I can see that not all y'all were fans of Haley's. Was there jealousy amongst the dance ranks? Did she sleep with one of your boyfriends? One of your girlfriends? It's a new decade, you never know! <laughs> what the hell, lady? Who do you think you are coming in here asking us all these questions? You can find your way out, can't you? <laughs> well, now, Sarah Campbell. Is that you? Sarah, do you know this lady? Unfortunately, I wish I didn't. The question is, do y'all know Sarah Campbell? <laughs> what do you mean? How do you know Sarah? Now, do you want to tell them, honey, or should I? Go to hell. What are you doing in New Hampshire? I came here to get away from you. What's going on, Sarah? She was the reporter that made a charade of my family's murder back in Texas. Why don't you have a southern accent? That lady sure does. My parents weren't originally from Texas. Wait, your whole family was murdered? Why didn't you tell us? Well, maybe that's because little Miss Sarah Campbell was the prime suspect. Well, trouble and murder just seem to follow you everywhere now, doesn't it? You bitch, that's why I left. She was the reason I got accused of killing my family. Her stupid news reports made me look crazy. <laughs> oh, sweetie, you didn't need any help doing that now, did you? You still look a little like you're just one step away from jumping off the deep end. You sure you didn't kill your little friend? Haley and her boyfriend! Oh, no, hell, stay away from me! Oh. Get out of my house! <laughs> well, you have a good day now, you hear? Awkward. Okay. Yeah. Can you believe that? I'm so sorry, you guys. No, I'm sorry that bitch got in. On that note, I've had just about enough crazy for one day. I'm out of here. Later, guys. Yeah, okay. Babe, we should probably go too. Cool. Peace. See y'all. And where are you going? Some of us have to work for a living, babe. Not all of us can sit around a house like you. Yeah, okay, fine. But next time, don't be such a prick. <laughs> you got it. And then there were two. Guess so. So. Yeah. Sorry things got weird. I feel like everyone thinks I'm crazy now. Listen, you went through some pretty fucked up shit. Like some really fucked up shit. But it's cool. My family has drama too. I'm gonna go if that's okay. Yeah, it's cool. My sister's old. And by the way, I don't think you're crazy.